Meth is the scourge to the gay community, to gay men. It destroys people. It makes people make stupid decisions. It makes people make stupid decisions based on sex, on having sex. I have a friend, not a very good friend, I mean I haven't known him, I mean, what I mean by a good friend is, is I haven't known him very long, he's more of an acquaintance, but you know he struggled with depression and recently he wanted me to, he called me in the middle of the night and wanted me to give him a ride to Portland. And it was just so important. Because his friend is in the hospital. Well, that was a lie. His friend wasn't in the hospital. He just he wanted to go there so he could get high. And I get paid when, when we get paid by his friend when we get there. Middle of the night, 20 degree weather, icy roads, and the tires are crap on the car. Might be a nice looking car, but the tires are not very good on it right now. Uh, certainly not good for uh, ice, you know. And, uh, and so I declined. Especially since it's not my car, it's my mother's car, you know. She was like, uh, no, uh, not that far with this ice and with how crappy the, the, the tires are, you know? <laughs> so. So the next morning, early in the morning, he calls me and tells me he, you know, he, he needs to get to the, the Greyhound station. You know, he needs to be there by 8.30. Well, you know, we got there at 8.00. And I, I immediately left, went to his place, picked him up, dropped him off at the station, and, uh, you know, I didn't think that much of it. I went to check his Facebook the next day, and, well, he didn't take the bus. He got, did a ride share, got a, got a, a ride from someone uh, at uh, 2.30 p.m., at a Starbucks, you know, I I, I message him, hey, what what happened? Oh, oh, I missed the bus. The, the bus left early. Just everything just kept getting more and more fishy. And today, he left a, a message on Facebook saying he's he doesn't know what to do. He wants to end it all, kind of thing. And, uh, he thinks that his only worth is sex. He found out recently that he was HIV positive, as he made some really, 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 really poor decisions. Um, wasn't on Truvada or anything like that. Just made some really poor decisions based off of uh, sex and meth. Because that's what happens with sex and meth. And, uh... So he's been really depressed about that. He's such a reserved person. Very shy. But he thinks that's his only worth, is sex. And so a lot of people are, are trying to give him support. There are people in Portland, he's in Portland right now, and people are saying, well, come, come on over, I'll get, you know, you have a place to stay, you have food, you have this, you have that, come on over. 
but his desire to do meth is more important, apparently. And so he's probably just going around sucking dick and getting fucked for meth. For more meth. I think about some of the characters that uh, the three meth addicts, when I lived at Tyler's, that the three meth addicts uh, brought over. Just truly some just, it's just like, wow, really? I mean, some people that you look at and you know immediately that they are, they are meth addicts. I mean, just, I mean, blatantly, blatantly, blatantly. And they're so methed out that they can't even talk. People that I'd like want to be at least a mile away from and they'd be bringing them over to the house all the time. God, they made some bad decisions. They made some decisions that were so bad that uh, if police had enough information about what they they really were like and really did, they'd probably have life prison sentences, all three of them. Yeah, just lovely stuff. Whenever you see the, the, uh, the acronym PNP on, on personal ads and, and uh, on hookup apps and things like that, and you see people say no PNP, it's party and play. Which basically means people, you know, party and play is, is someone who likes to do meth with sex or ecstasy with sex. Party and play, party and play. messed up a bunch of fairy gatherings, radical fairy gatherings, F-A-E-R-I-E. -E. Um, you can go look up radical fairy if you want, because I'm not going to give some big explanation of it right now, but um, I made another version of this version of this video, but I, I just kept breaking up into tears, and I just I, I, I think it's just a shame how much meth ruins people and how, unfortunately, it is common in the gay male community. It's just so fucking common. When I would go into the cuff, when I was still allowed at the cuff before I really fucked up there, and, uh, you know, before I tossed the contents of my drink on one of the bartenders because of a... a scenario. I was really stupid. He was really rude, he was really nasty, but I did not respond appropriately. I was 86 from there. But you know, before then, and when I would go there, I'd say about a third of the people there, high on meth. When it'd be a popular night, yep. third, maybe a quarter. Maybe it's maybe it's just a quarter, but that's that's still a pretty big percentage. It's a scourge on the gay male community. It's a scourge. It's it's it it's an epidemic. It's a horrible epidemic. And this shit hardly ever gets talked about. Hardly at all. And I need to end this video before I start crying.